Hello, it's Miroslava, the founder of Artifacts Online Learning Platform, and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, we are going to talk about how to make your painting look deeper, how to add volume to your painting and to the objects on it. And in today's video lesson, Konstantin Sterhoff is going to share with you different artistic means which are going to help you with this. And if you like the topic, if you find this topic useful and that's what you struggle with, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to like this video and to turn on the notification sign. But before we move on, I would like to invite you all to our watercolor marathon. This is a set of free online uh, workshops. Uh, in course of which you're going to create three amazingly beautiful paintings. This is the event uh, for those of you who feel that they stuck on the, sales, on the same level, who know that they do have some areas for improvement in watercolor, but do not know how to deal with it. For those of you who feel that they lack some uh, basics, for those of you who would like to know how to uh, analyze your paintings, how to make your artistic voice sound brighter and louder and how to find your own painting style. And that's not all what we're going to cover during these three online workshops. And in order to take part in this, you need to just to get registered via active link in the description to this video. So please now put this video on pause and copy the link or follow the active link in the description to this video and get registered. Just two simple steps which um, are going to lead you and allow you to participate in this amazing event. So, and if now you're ready to start, then let's go to the video. What we are going to add here uh, to, to make it more live and interesting. First of all, I would like to, uh, to add some depth maybe to give some idea of distance. Uh, something in, in the back, like, like, I don't know, some island or something like this. Then I can add the, some blues into it. and maybe some darker there. Something darker. Something like this. And also maybe this house, uh, lighthouse could be good so it's it's quite uh, transparent what i'm doing there because it's far away and there the, the air perspective makes me doing it a little bit this something on the distance maybe a little bit softer some connection with the sea i can drop there a little bit of color like maybe some ochre or sienna just on top maybe some final rays ray of of sun or something so now we have something far away 
and I want to do something in front. I think I will put some figures there. So let me take just maybe in this part where I don't have words, I can put figure two figures together who okay, came to see the sunset. Okay. And I will make them now cooler and darker because against the light, they are against the light and we just see them as a silhouette. Also here, the head. I can make red ears. Person is just standing there. Some violets, probably. It's now. Color, just leg. And now maybe there I could take some warm evenings. I oh, know it's now it's is not watching the sunset, it's watching us. So it has to be darker there. Okay. And the bicycle. They came with a bicycle. Uh, there will be another person. This and another person. Oh, this one. Not finished yet. The hand is not there. Just and another one. Here. here we have this. And the head quite dark.
girls here. So I can add there maybe some some blue something nice, nice blue and of course bicycle yeah bicycle. And hands. So there's some over. So like this, and now we just need to make also some reflection or maybe some some shadow from them So on the wet sand, see two figures and more. Texture a little bit. So maybe we still need, but maybe not. Because now it's more or less balanced. If I add now more on birds, then they will they will be too uh, too much. Maybe some accents. Just a little bit. So and this is what I wanted to do here, and maybe I could also do light. Some accent. Okay, that's it. So it's finished. You can make your own details and your own story there. So I hope you liked this video and found this very useful and now you know several ways of how to make your painting look deeper, how to add volume to your painting. And uh, do not forget to like this video, it really, really motivates us and makes us keep going and keep creating and recording video lessons for you and uploading them on our YouTube channel. So. Um, I would like to remind you once again, if you haven't done so and you want to improve your watercolor, you want to uh, get to the next level with your watercolor, you want to be independent in deciding what you, what do you want to paint, paint with watercolor, then we invite you all to a set of 
free online workshops with Konstantin Sterhoff, uh, which um, are gonna uh, lead you to creating three amazing paintings and learning many, many new things and nuances and uh, tips on watercolor. So full active link in the, is in the description to this video and we're gonna be waiting for you on the marathon. Bye-bye.